there's a lot going on in Antarctica, so we don't just meet endless ice plains and waddling penguins here, but also secret Nazi bases, buildings of lost civilizations, and aliens. Well, that's at least what some controversial theories say, but could we really make it so easy for ourselves and just put the wild assumptions aside? There is no question that some strange artifacts and formations have already been discovered in Antarctica. So let's get to the bottom of these strange objects today. From inexplicable antennas to enigmatic ruins, here are some Antarctica discoveries that will leave us in awe. Do you like our videos? Then give a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more exciting videos. Also, stick around until the end to hear about one of the most unbelievable theories about Antarctica so far. Alton and Antenna it's 1962 when the research ship USNS Altonen sets sail for Antarctica waters to give humanity new insights into the freezing cold sea world. Equipped with the most advanced technologies of its time, the floating laboratory was to collect a lot of groundbreaking data over the next two years, before an incident occurred that still makes waves today. On August 29, 1964, the USNS Altonen photographed the seabed west of Cape Horn. However, at a depth of about 4 kilometers, the camera caught something that no expert could explain. A bizarre structure about 3 meters high, which towered steeply with its symmetrical spokes and nodules. Although the object seemed extremely unreal, it was somehow reminiscent of a well-known antenna. Many publications in scientific debates later, it was clear that the scientific community was enriched by the hotly disputed secret of the Altonen antenna. Many people were convinced that we were dealing with the relic of an unknown civilization that inhabited the formerly ice-free continent. Others took this exciting train of thought a step further and saw the work of an extraterrestrial civilization in the Altonen antenna. A little later, however, an explanation made the headlines that was much less spectacular. As a result, the supposed antenna is not a high-tech receiver from a secret culture, but simply a natural sponge. In detail, this listens to the official name, Chandrakladita concrescens. In some circles, however, this explanation is still being massively questioned. On the one hand, the precise geometric arrangement of the individual outgrowths would speak against this theory, and the fact that the sponge species normally lives in groups, but the antenna was found alone, is also a mystery. In addition, the sponges do not actually occur at such great depths that the sunlight cannot penetrate. In the same breath, Critics point out that an 8,000-year-old rock carving that looks a lot like the Altanian antenna was unearthed in Utah's Sergo Canyon. In addition, the illustrations show strange creatures that are obviously not human and are much larger than conventional people. Could these be the real creators of the Altanian antenna? What do you think? Let us know your thoughts on this mysterious discovery in the comments below. Antarctic Dwarfs Supposedly, explorers in the Whitmore Mountains once came across the fossilized remains of a humanoid race that measured a mere 30 centimeters. But that's not all. The petrified bones are said to be 600 million years old. It should be clear to all of us that this age, together with the dimensions and the place where it was found, just doesn't make any sense. As a result, the supposed sensational find is also labeled as a brazen fake by most scientists. Endurance In January 1915, the crew of the Endurance found themselves in an awkward position. The British research ship was trapped in the pack ice of the Antarctic Weddell Sea. For 281 days, the 44-meter-long and 7.6-meter-wide ship lived up to its name. But in the end, the enduring battle could not be won. Fortunately, when the Endurance was finally crushed by the pack ice, the crew had already fled to an ice floe. For more than 100 years, the whereabouts of the Endurance represented an unsolvable mystery. But in March of this year, a sensational report made the headlines. With the help of a diving robot, the experts had finally succeeded in locating the wreck at a depth of a good 3,000 meters. From the photos, we can see that the sunken ship stands upright and is still in exceptional condition. Nesting fish 
Between 500 and 5,000 meters deep, the Antarctic Weddell Sea is one of the coldest bodies of water on the globe. But despite its extreme conditions, the frigid ocean is teeming with life. Recently, deep-sea biologists uncovered the largest nesting colony of fish that humans have ever seen. In detail, the fish nursery includes 60 million nests that stretch over an incredible area of 240 square kilometers. For classification, this corresponds approximately to the size of the island Malta. Laid by the species called Jonah's Icefish, a nest consists of about 1,700 eggs. Environmentalists hope that the discovery of the gigantic breeding area will lead to the establishment of an official protection zone in the Weddell Sea. Ancient Ruins to monitor changes in polar ice, NASA is using an advanced topographic laser altimeter. This so-called Atlas technology is able to let your gaze wander under the mighty ice sheet of Antarctica. However, one of these photon-assisted scans brought something to light that no one can really explain. Something slumbers under the ice, reminiscent of the ruins of a mysterious city. In fact, one of these hidden structures even looks like a pyramid-shaped structure. In principle, it's conceivable that we are dealing here with quite ordinary geological formations. However, given the straight lines and the meticulous layout, some people find this explanation unlikely. If it is really the work of man, then the settlement must have been established before the continent was buried under an impenetrable layer of ice. It has been known for some time that the frosty world was still a lush green thousands of years ago. However, that the burgeoning Antarctica also served as a home for humans or even for another civilization would again be a groundbreaking surprise. Oldest Bone Find In 1985, researchers unearthed an extremely interesting skull on Yamaha Beach in the South Shetland Islands. Subsequently, the bone could be assigned to an indigenous resident of southern Chile who probably died between 1819 and in 1825. Although the skull is no more than 200 years old, it still embodies the oldest human remains ever found on the continent. Incidentally, the place where it was found was a former camp for seal catchers. But since, as far as we know, there were no female sealers, no one actually knows how the woman got there. Prehistoric Sea Monsters Elasmosaurus, or Nessie's Antarctic cousin. Three years ago, research managed to track down the fossilized bones of an imposing primeval giant in Antarctica. The swimming long necks reached a body length of about 12 meters and weighed an estimated 15 tons. The Elasmosaurus died out around 72 million years ago. Scientists are still puzzling over how the ocean colossus once fed. It used to be thought that marine dinosaurs stuck their heads out of the water like submarine periscopes to look for prey. However, the reconstructed position of the eyes indicates that the hunters ambushed their victims from below, using the long neck as kind of a natural baton. Secret Nazi Base Do you still believe that Adolf Hitler committed suicide in the bunker on April 30, 1945? Then you cut yourself. In fact, in July 45, the tyrannical dictator arrived in Antarctica aboard a submarine, where he was retreated to the gigantic military complex that his Nazi henchmen had built six years earlier. Well, this crazy legend had existed since the ship Schwabenland completed the Antarctic expedition in 1938-39. Of course, the fact that the venture was officially carried out to open up new whaling routes was only a ruse to deceive world public opinion. In attempts to storm the Nazi base in Antarctica, the British and the Americans repeatedly fought each other. Not even the use of nuclear weapons brought the hope for success. Since the area in question in New Schwabenland is traversed by many hot springs, the descendants of the Nazis need not worry about energy and heat generation. To be fair, however, it should also be mentioned briefly that there is no evidence whatsoever for these foolhardy claims, and no statement has ever stood up to professional scrutiny. Alien Visitor 
In January of this year, all the doubters should finally be silenced. As an official finding proves, extraterrestrial visitors have actually spread out in the Antarctic Nansen Ice Table. Okay, admittedly, these were not really slippery aliens, but so-called crondites, the largest class of meteorites. With a weight of a good 18 kilos, one of the finds even became the largest meteorite found in East Antarctica in the last 25 years. The researchers tracked down a total of 425 galactic missiles, which weighed a total of 75 kilograms. Monster No Discovered in 2011, the strange fossil from Antarctica has recently been finally identified. So what we have here is a massive egg laid by a marine reptile 66 million years ago. With a length of 30 centimeters, it is even the largest known softshell egg in history. Most likely, a mosasaur would have hatched from it one day. These creatures, up to 18 meters long, were abundant in the primordial seas of the Upper Cretaceous, presumably feeding on large fish and low-frying pterosaurs. Antarctic Mushrooms If you live in America or Europe, you've likely seen mushrooms pop up around the spring months or in the middle of autumn. These mushrooms love to feed on the moist bacteria that may be left behind by fallen leaves, and the damp, shady grass gives them a perfect environment to call home for the next couple months. However, as winter begins to pour in, these mushrooms vanish as quickly as they appeared. This is part of their natural cycle of life. However, who would have guessed that at least three species of mushrooms would be able to survive in the Antarctica? Mushrooms are some of the most incredible organisms on the planet. They provide all sorts of health benefits for humans, and many people believe that humans may have evolved from a distant version of mushroom or fungus many, many years ago. While the jury is still out on this one, and the evidence surrounding this idea is trivial at best, it's still safe to say that mushrooms are vital to life on Earth, regardless of their previous history. Deep within Antarctica, we know of at least three species that are able to survive the harsh conditions and thrive in the year-round cold of this inhospitable continent. Most of these mushrooms can be found on decaying wood that used to belong to explorers who traveled through many years ago. As researchers like Ernest Shackleton visited Antarctica, they built huts out of wood to keep themselves warm. Though after their research was done, many of these huts were left abandoned and some of them have started to rot and decay. This is where microorganisms like mushrooms begin to pop up. They use the old wood as an incubation chamber, making it the perfect breeding ground for mycelium. As as the mushrooms mature, they begin to feed on the excess kerosene in the air, using it as their main source of food. This helps them live and thrive, regardless of the cold conditions. Researchers like Robert Blanchett have used evidence of mushrooms in Antarctica as a way to theorize the possibility of mushrooms helping to clean up large oil spills in the future. Strange Living Things as you can probably expect, if an animal were to survive in Antarctica, it would need a very specific skill set in order to thrive in the harsh, cold environment. Because of this, many of the animals and insects that can be found on the icy continent look disturbing, to say the least. To better put this into perspective, these animals and insects look like something straight out of your darkest nightmares. We know that creatures like microbes, spiders, worms, crustaceans, and squids live here, but most of these creatures have grown far larger than their warm-blooded counterparts. One example of this is the woodlouse spider that loves the snowy conditions of Antarctica. These spiders can grow to be the size of a normal dinner plate and seems like they could eat a small dog for breakfast. They usually live in moist areas of the continent, but what's even more freaky is that their genitals and stomach also serve as their legs. This is not your normal spider. By all means, these nasty creepy crawlies seem to have been a bargain bin special. Being being created from extra parts from other spiders that weren't being used. All jokes aside, these spiders mean serious business and they are seriously terrifying. Some strange looking fish have also been found in the area. What you may not realize is that deep underneath the ice of Antarctica, the water that these fish swim in is almost pitch black. There isn't much sunlight in the area. To begin with, when the thick layers of ice form on top of the water, this makes it even more difficult for these fish to navigate. Because of this, many of the fish have developed strangely large eyes. Some of them even have transparent bodies that allow you to see right through their skin and scales. According to modern research, a series of glycoproteins have helped the fish to 
adapt and live in these sub-zero temperatures. These fish have no problems living in icy cold water, but they would die immediately if they found themselves in normal water, such as the ocean or a river. Ok folks, that's our trip to Antarctica. What discovery intrigued you the most? And do you think the frozen world was once the home to lost civilizations? We are already looking forward to your comments. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss another video. And with that, thanks for watching, have a good one and see you next time.